Guys and Does is about two paper mill workers from Nakusa, Wisconsin, who go hunting. Now, the thing about these two paper mill workers is they have different approaches to hunting. One, played by Doc, Fritz Dingleheimer, is a, a master hunter, has been hunting all his life, knows all of the rules, is very ethical, takes it very seriously, it's his getaway. I play Dwayne Puddles, he's not a hunter. He, is afraid to hunt. He can't imagine killing anything. So the show is kind of about how we bond and get to know each other. Um, and then there are a number of other factors <laughs> that enter in. Some um, fun, surprising additional yeah. characters join the hunt along yes. the way. And one of the things we wanted with the show was for hunting to be explored from a lot of different viewpoints. Joe Jimmy Ray Bob Johnson III is a big game hunter from Texas who shows up and he's played by the incomparable Doug Mancheski. And then we have another surprise character uh, that shows up to weigh in from the deer's point of view. I think what we set out to do was to create a show that was extremely funny and at the same time really warm and charming and sweet. In some ways the show is about hunting in the way that Guys and Ice is about ice fishing. You know, Ice fishing is the context for Guys and Ice. It takes place in a nice fishing shack and, you know, they're fishing during the show, but a lot of what they're doing is talking about their jobs and their wives and their girlfriends and potential girlfriends. And the show is like that. It's also just about Dwayne trying to get through this hunt without Fritz right. kicking him out of the camp. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne is a challenging character right. to be around, um, and Fritz has to get used to the idea that Dwayne uh, is probably going to marry his daughter, and right. playing Dwayne, the whole thing is about Right. Um, I'm hunting for Fritz's approval. I'm, yes. I'm not going to come home with a deer, but, but if I come home with his, his consent to marry his daughter, then I'm happy. Yeah. One of the other things the show explores is masculinity and how that's defined in our culture. And do you need to be a tough guy who, you know, goes and kills something to prove yourself? We were very surprised and thrilled that the show, I think maybe the only fall show that no this guy's ever done that completely sold out a run. Um, when we did it at the Ephraim Village Hall some years ago, it sold out the first night and sold out every night since. We had to turn away thousands of people. When we moved it the second fall to the auditorium, it drew even more people. Um, so the show developed a real cult following, and I think that's, again, because what we're trying to do is mix together this, the, the laughs along with the heart. This is also a show that was scientifically studied. <laughs> One of the few American musicals ever to undergo a, a legitimate psychological scientific study uh, that demonstrated it could change people's point of view. So it's scientifically proven to be a great show. <laughs> All year long we sportsmen pray for this chance to get away. Hooray, it's hunting, yeah, hey, it's hunting, hooray, it's hunting day.